Well, little old Gainsborough must be proud, Tom. Uh, I'm, I'm delighted with the second half performance up until the penalty area, probably. Like I thought we, we absolutely dominated the second half. Um, created some brilliant scenarios and situations, just lacked a bit of belief and conviction. I think we just overcomplicated it in and around the penalty area. Um, a little shift and shoot, I think, would have got us our, got us our goals. Um, we must have been in their penalty area in good possession, getting on for a dozen times. It was um, we, we really dominated territory, dominated the ball, um, but just haven't quite carved those, those clear-cut chances and, and we could have scored a few scruffy ones in my opinion just from, from a bit more bit more you know a bit more ruthlessness. Um, first half I, I've taken a bit of ownership there. Like I think I, I came to try and get up against people and press but they picked us off and they were a bit fitter and sharper which they, they should be they're, they're professional footballers. Um, so we changed the shape at half time, changed a few bits around we weren't really solid and compact. I thought we could counter-attack with what we got on the top line. And we did that brilliantly to the point where we didn't have to counter in the end because we had the football. So um, it's a similar game to Saturday really with how it ebbed and flowed and, and we've dominated the, the second period. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm proud that we, we had them on the ropes a little bit and, and the noise from the Gainsborough supporters and the, the turnout is fantastic. It just shows what the potential of Gainsborough Trinity is. Like, it's brilliant to see that behind the goal when they were trying to suck the ball into the goal for us. Um, but yeah, a pleasing performance, especially second half. Um, and, and plenty learnt along the way as ever. Exactly, but there's no rest, there's no let up. We have to follow this one up and again try and turn that 45 minutes into a 90 minute performance on Saturday. Yeah, um, we've, we've unfortunately picked up a few little injuries tonight, um, so we've got some work to do. Mr Whitehall and the physio has got a busy few days ahead to get some lads patched up, but We've got a huge game on Saturday. We we need to um, we need to win that game. We need to get our job done and need, need to be in control of that um, from from our performances and our results. So um, we we um, we're capable. Mickleover are good. They've got two or three superstars in my opinion for this level. But the rest of the team, I feel as though we can get after, um, and we we will do our work between now and then. Get people physically ready, mentally ready, and then it's my job to get us tactically ready. So. Uh, we'll, we'll take the good bits from tonight and, and build on those and the brilliant bits from Saturday's performance um, and, and be ready for, for Mikulova. I just hope that we can get a wall of noise at the North Home on Saturday to roar us over the line. Yeah, they, they were, the supports were brilliant, Rob. I thought they were fantastic. It felt like a, a proper game of football today in a decent old ground. and uh, Not that old, but a decent ground. And yeah, it was, it was a, a pleasure to, to be... Um, leading the, the football club tonight with that, that bank of supporters behind the goal and the way they were and the way they they, you know, they were with us all the way to the end and um, yeah we, it looked as though we were going to pinch pinch a draw or maybe better but um, yeah hopefully they can they can fill the North Home on, on Saturday with a, a good, good attendance and we can get our, get our business done on Saturday.